Hi, this is a quick video to show you how to deal with the uh, ontology I've created. Uh, I've zipped up the ontology, uh, it should be attached to an email, so if you download it and then extract it, okay, you should have a folder and a number of subfolders in there. So if you just double click on your index, it should fire it up in the browser. So what we have are our um, land registration concepts and so this is all summarized using um, uh, a platform called Wadikio which is based on load as well and so it takes the uh, OWL ontology and presents it in a, a more readable way so it shows all of the classes and the object properties one of the nice elements of it is it includes this uh, WebVal um, visualization framework. Uh, unfortunately uh, there is a thing called calls which stops things from automatically loading so in order to load your WebVal element you need to go into the WebVal folder, take data, grab your ontology element and drag it and drop it. Oh come on. Okay so let's just minimize this here we are and drag it and drop it into the space which it's not doing oh that's annoying there we are drag it and drop it into there okay fantastic and then what it'll do is it will open up uh, the ontology. There's a few things that can make it easier to deal with. So if you look on the filter, uh, turn on your, click on the data type tab, turn on the object property tab, reduce your degree of collapsing so it shows the full ontology and relationships. And if you click on one of the classes, uh, you'll get the whole uh, metadata and descriptor in here and you can zoom in by right clicking uh, and you're seeing here that we've got um, you know, the relationships and edge relationships between concepts. So here we have a thing that's described in our compound uh, element pradial land, uh, i.e. where land is owned by other parties. Uh, and so pradial land is land which has a party, is a cadastral unit party. Right, brilliant. So it's, uh, it's that right is held by land. Uh, and the, the right that it's holding is a numerous clauses right, brilliant part of our right index because we've got an equivalent relationship. And what's the final one is that this is part of our comp. Oh, that's it. And that's clearly what it is. Predial land is, is holding that information. Oh, no, it's also got a relationship with land. <laughs> so I think other part of our options here are we can include, extend our. Maybe it's in a mode. Here we are. Ah, data type distance, class distance. Yeah, we can spread things out a little bit. Anyway, so that's all in there, and that's quite cool. Uh, but you can look at the classes in here. So there's a full list of classes. Essentially, each class is defined in terms of what its uh, upper level relationship is. So absolute land here, which is described as something which has accurate survey associated with it, uh, is a super, has a superclass called land. And it's disjoint with relative land, which is something which takes a grounded concept and then has a verbalization associated with it. So if we go back to what absolute land, I think one of the interesting elements here is looking at our uh, compounded uh, concepts. Uh, and so here um, we have the compound concepts of uh, owned land. So what's owned land? Well, owned land is based upon other primitives. So you have a right holding party uh, and that right holding party has an ownership right and that ownership right is over uh, a, a, an area of land. So that's all uh, well and good. So all of those definitions are in there. Um, right. Apart from within this little view, you can just take the ontology out. Now you can download the ontology it stands, uh, just clicking on the format RDF XML here. And so you'll see here that now what we've done is it's downloaded the ontology. So if we go into our folder 
uh, we can have a look at our local installs protege 5 and so let's just run protege um, uh, I'm sure as you're aware protege is an ontology viewer uh, produced by Stanford uh, and quite a lot of uh, impact from um, Manchester as well so let's open up that ontology that we have so whoop. Let's, I haven't used this on this machine in a little while so it's got loads of updates so let's go out our downloads here we are that's got our ontology RDF so as you can see in here everything is is documented much in the same way that it was in the the other element uh, the, the HTML view um, we have our entities and in this instance what we're doing looking at is our asserted entities so anything with these triple signs in them are uh, uh, elements which have a, a logical construct in terms of how they're built and so there's lots of things that are empty down here because they're based upon other concepts um, but in here we have our compound concepts we've got the index elements we've got parties rights and lands so if we go into you know uh, party for example we'll see we've got right holding party we've got transacting parties we've got supporting parties um, which haven't got anything in because it's not a complete ontology yet so uh, that's great so we've built up that kind of hierarchy um, but what we want to do is, is start our reasoner and and see how that has an impact on how this um, hierarchy comes together so if we change over to our inferred view we can see what the reasoner has brought to us which is all of those things which were built on concepts down here at the base level here we are all of these things have now been put into their proper spot in the hierarchy so uh, we can see that they now all kind of belong to different elements of the you know in that many instances for rights grouping so that's all kind of built up in there but the power of this brings us down to what we can do with these compound rights and these compound concepts so here we are so uh, owned land for example you know is a compound concept that's based upon the right holding party yada 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 uh, and so we can calculate that out and we can use that to infer other relationships which is fantastic okay thanks a lot uh hope you enjoy this hope it makes sense um i'll um, yeah, uh, be in touch.